Do you ever feel like you say the same thing every time you meet someone? You just don't know what else to say that might sound interesting. Instead, you say the same thing over and over in all of your business conversations. And you never seem to start the conversation in a comfortable way. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you examples of natural ways Americans would greet each other at the beginning of a meeting or a call. And my goal is to prepare you for different greetings you might hear in the future. Also, you might find some of these very interesting, and I encourage you to use them with your U.S. meetings in the future. One of the best ways to get the most out of this video is to use it as a shadowing English speaking practice in a business setting. When I say each of the greetings and responses, you can pause the video and shadow my words and use this as a very effective English speaking practice tool. I'm going to give you 10 different ways Americans say hi. And I'll also give you different examples of where these meetings might happen. As an example, on a video call or on a phone call or at the office. Also, for your shadowing English speaking practice, I will share the greeting that somebody would say, but also the response from the other person at the meeting. Because this is a conversation. Somebody greets, somebody responds. So I'm going to share both of those. Let's get started. The first one is a situation where you've never met before. And this meeting is going to take place on a video call. It might start like this. Hi, John. I'm Grant. Thank you for arranging this meeting online. And great to meet you here. How are you? John might say, hello, Grant. Nice to meet you, too. I'm doing well, thanks. How about yourself? Now, I'm curious whether you would say all of that. Lots of it's very normal. Would you say, how about yourself? I would. I've said it many times. Again, here's a chance to pause the video. Use this as a shadow experience and be able to say these out loud and get comfortable with them. Let's move on to the next one. In this situation, you've never met before and you're meeting on a phone call. The conversation might go something like this. Hello, Susan. This is Grant from Business English with Grant. I'm glad we could connect over the phone. How's your day going? Susan might respond, Hi Grant, it's a pleasure. My day has been quite busy, but good. What about you? Again, I encourage you, pause the video. Say this out loud. I would say all of this. In fact, I have said all of this many times in different business meetings I've had where I've met somebody on a phone call. I encourage you to do the same thing. My day's been quite busy, but good. What about you? Now that might sound strange to you, but it's exactly what I would say. Let's look at the next sentence. In this situation, you've never met before, and you're meeting at lunch, at a business lunch. Conversation could go something like this. Hi, Fred. I'm Grant. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Have you tried this restaurant before? Fred might respond with, hello, Grant. No, this is my first time here, but I've heard great things. Thanks for suggesting it. Now you have many different meetings where you might meet at lunch. And this is just a great, normal way to have a conversation and greet each other at lunch. Give it a try. See how it feels for you. In this situation, you're meeting in the lobby of the office. You've never met before, and the conversation will go like this. Good morning, Maria. I'm Grant. It's good to see you. 
was it easy to find our office? Maria might respond. Good morning, Grant. Yes, it was no trouble at all. Thank you. Your building is quite impressive. Now, there's a very nice conversation, very natural, very easy. Again, I encourage you to do some shadow practicing with this and get these words to come out of your mouth and make them natural and normal. In this situation, you're meeting at a networking event and you've never met before. The conversation could happen like this. Hi, James, I'm Grant from Business English with Grant. I noticed your name tag. What brings you to the event? James might respond, hello, Grant. I'm here to connect with like-minded professionals. It's great to meet someone from Business English with Grant. I think James really wants to improve his confidence using Business English. So those are five really interesting ways that we're you can have a conversation with someone that you've never met before. Now, let's change it a little bit and begin a conversation where you did meet before. Let's look at five more examples of how this might work for you. In this situation, it's a follow-up video call. So you have met before on a video call, and this would be a conversation you might have. Hi, Julia. Great to see you again. How have things been since our last chat? And Julia might respond. Hello, Grant. Good to see you too. Things have been quite busy, but productive. How about you? Again, would you say that? How about you? (laughs) I would, and it would be very normal. So take the time. Pause the video. Say this out loud. Make these become comfortable so that you're confident saying these in your future conversations. In this example, you're meeting in a conference room and and you have met before. The conversation could go something like this. Good morning, John. Nice to meet you once more. That was your trip here. John might respond with, Morning, Grant. Always a pleasure. My trip was smooth. Thanks for asking. How have you been? Yes, my trip was smooth. There was no problem. I didn't have any delays. Everything was good. Everything was smooth. (laughs) It sounds so good. Love that. In this situation, you're meeting for coffee. And maybe it's a casual coffee break. And you have met before. This conversation could sound something like this. Hey, Bill, it's been a while. How's everything going on your end? Bill could respond. Hey, Grant, things are going well, thanks. Busy as always. And yourself? Now, this would be really normal. Just a perfectly normal thing to say. And on both ends, both on the greeting and on the response. So please, take your time. Say these out loud. Enjoy them. Make them comfortable. Become confident using these. In this example, you meet at a networking event, and you had met before, but you're meeting again. And the conversation might go something like this. Hello, Bob. Nice to run into you again. What have you been up to since the last time we spoke? And Bob might respond. Hi, Grant. Always a pleasure to bump into you. I've been working on a few new projects. How about you? Now, here's a great phrase to bump into somebody. And a really common thing that an American would say, where it's just, I'm going to this networking event and I, I really hope I bump into Bob. I haven't seen him in some time. It'd be a really common thing to say. It's not literally you bump into somebody, but it's that you see somebody somewhere and you're able to speak with them. And that's what that means. In this example, you're meeting for a client office visit. And you have met before. The conversation could go something like this. Good to see you again, Jennifer. How's everything at the office? And Jennifer could respond. Good to see you too, Grant. We've been keeping busy. All is well. What's new with you? There's another phrase that I've said a million times. All is well. You don't need anything else. It just means everything's going great. 
I ask you to use this video to do some shadowing English speaking practice. I think you'll find it really useful to be able to say all these different things out loud, to have different ways to greet people. Maybe you can find one or two of these that you find really interesting and sounds and feels natural to you, and you can use them in the future. What I'd love for you to do is put in the comments what, what your favorite phrase is, something new for you, something that you really would like to use in the future, and then try to use it and see what happens. Have fun with these. These are great. It's always nice to be able to have something else to say instead of repeating yourself over and over again. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.